Between the last video and this one, I continued adding some minor refinements to our matte painting. Let me walk you through them. Now in the background folder, I have a paint overall layer, which just has more painted details when it comes to the background mountain. Then more refinements to the curves uh, 26 layer, which is adding shadow from the clouds. Proceeding ahead into the background clouds layer. So you can see, I have moved the clouds uh, slightly and even made them bigger. Then there is also a paint fix which I had to do because uh, I transformed the lower section of the clouds just a little bit. Let me zoom in and show that to you. So you can see this small little line. So what I did was just uh, select that section of my clouds layer and just transform it, made it much more straight. And then use this layer to paint on top to get rid of the seam. Then uh, overall there is a paint fix and clouds darken layer which is just used to add contrast to these clouds. Moving ahead, let's go to the mid-ground haze folder where I have just increased the height of the haze so that it is covering just a little bit near the top of the glacier. Over to the mid-ground clouds, I have gone ahead and revealed a little bit more of the clouds that is painting into the layer mask. It is that section right there. Following that, I have a layer which is used to uh, cast the shadow of the uh, mountain, that's the mid-ground mountains, onto this cloud. And a layer called as color, where the blending mode is set to color. So let's uh, minimize that. Head over to the uh, sci-fi base. Now, I have duplicated a few stations uh, around just to uh, build our composition and also added a few trees at the back. And uh, heading up to the uh, foreground section, we have a few edge trees and uh, cliff refinements. All right, so uh, let's start working on adding details to the sci-fi base, heading into the main dome and adding a new layer on top of the uh, paint layer. I'm just going to call it lines using a uh, chalk brush. Let me just uh, zoom in here. I've got a pretty dark color set in my palette. I'm going to draw lines on top of this dome just to indicate some sort of a structural uh, design. So I'm going to lock this layer, sample the uh, shadow color, and just paint on it. Reducing the opacity of the layer. Continuing ahead, I'm going to add a new layer on top of this uh, lines layer. And I'm going to call it Lines Highlight. Heading back to the Lines layer. And again, reducing the radius of my brush. I have to unlock the layer first before I can paint on it. And using the same uh, color as before, I'm just going to continue adding large detailed structural uh, details on our dome. Now heading to the Highlights layer and sampling the snow color. Now, I have turned on my pressure sensitivity for opacity uh, and flow and painting uh, alongside the lines layer we just did before. This is starting to give form to our uh, structure. Maybe all of these are like large panels. Helps our uh, panels to stick out even more. Now, we made a texture during uh, our 3D workflow, but we still need to add much more uh, panel like details. So, I've gone ahead and made a very quick texture in Photoshop. Let me bring that over. You can see, uh, let me walk you through what I have done here. It's just simple uh, rectangles and squares and changing the opacity. The flattened version of that, let's bring that into the matte painting. 
place it underneath the lines and let's transform that to the shape of the dome now textures like these are like really really simple to create just uh, go ahead and start uh, drawing uh, rectangles and squares and filling them up with uh, say a complete black and then just playing around with the opacity and we are going to use this uh, flat texture first on the sides which are sticking out from the dome i'll show you them in a minute and of course let me name that as pattern a1 now to select that we made an rgba pass and the area which we need is in the blue pass so i'm just going to fill the rgba pass and merge it with a layer filled with complete black move it to the top so it will help us selecting and now when we go into a blue channel and just select that it will only select that blue section and using that to add a mask our texture only is applied into that selection let's play around with the blending modes overlay seems to work well uh, maybe try multiply multiply seems to work uh, well for us going over to the rgba path since we have our object broken down it's very easy for us to quickly go into the uh, channel uh, say the red the green the blue and select that part and then just use it as a mask or just uh, paint over it next let's start working on uh, adding some continuity especially in a reflection between the barrier and our dome so using our reflect pass and bringing it uh, into our stack let me change the blending mode to linear dodge it uh, becomes really really bright so let's add a layer mask and fill that with black now using a soft round brush i'm going to go in and start painting in areas where i'm getting some bounce light from the snow now, since snow reflects a lot and uh, it's being uh, hit by light directly it's also going to reflect a lot and all of that bounce light is going to illuminate the uh, sides and especially the shadow sides of our main dome and this helps us um, build some more realism into our matte painting similarly continuing that to the uh, left side continuing to the uh, side structures and also our main dome so in this video we started to add final details to our uh, sci-fi base and let us continue doing so in the next one as well